So, I think most of you guys know that my computer here is still a fairly powerful computer. Now, not by today's standards when it comes to Cyberpunk, because this is like the new Crisis, and that game itself has a whole list of problems that we're not going to even go into in this video. That will be a video for a separate time. So, one of the things that I really would like to do is to get the power of this system into this system. This system is the first particular um, computer that I ever built. It's the first one I ever started the channel with, and it's still going strong today. Now, I shouldn't sound like I'm bragging about this, because definitely the hardware is something that you do not want to brag about. I'm like, this thing is the main computer that I had when I built this channel. So, I want to get the power of this system over there. So, how do I do it? Well, the way that I end up doing it is through Steam. Not that particular Steam. I'm actually talking about the Steam client. So to be able to pull this off, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that Steam is installed on both computer systems. Once you guys have installed Steam, you're gonna go back to your main computer that you want to render the graphics off, which is obviously gonna be this computer, and we're going to install the games to it. Once you guys have installed the games to it, we're gonna head back to the other computer, and we're gonna see that the games now populate. Now, if you have an issue with your games not populating yet, uh, the way that you can actually look at the problem and how to fix the problem is by heading into your streaming options, which is going to be remote play, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this setting is enabled. If these options are enabled, you should see your computer come up, and if you guys do see it come up, but you're seeing your game still not populate, the way you can solve this problem is by going into the games individually and telling them beside the download option to start streaming them. Now, this should work, but if you do want to see all your games populate like I have here, the way that you can actually solve this problem is by restarting Steam and you should see them all come up correctly. Now again, this computer did not install any of the games whatsoever, which good for your ISP, I guess. And now we have the ability to play. Now, unfortunately, when you are doing this, you don't have the ability to use your, you know, computer, which would be this one, because you are actually rendering on it to your other computer. When gaming through remote play, you want to make sure that you're using a fairly stable connection. Now, wired connections are the best way to go. These particular connections will bring down latency a fair bit, and because they're a lot faster, you typically will see that there is not a lot of an image quality reduction. Now, because Wi-Fi is so over the place for the connection and how stable it can be, uh, you will see a little bit of latency get introduced to the connection. Now, there is a way through Steam to focus on getting the latency down but with the latency going down unfortunately the image quality will also reduce so the best thing to do is you can focus on one or the other by going through these settings on the computer that you're streaming to and set it to whatever your preference happens to be anyway folks this is pretty much everything that you guys need to do to get this up and running. Now, there's a few other settings if you're running a newer router that might improve your internet connection, but this only will work in a household that is basically taking up a lot of bandwidth within your house. This setting will priority your internet connection on your host computer to the computer that you're streaming to. Again, do this on the host computer for the best result. If you're also seeing any issues with your computer, let's say playing sound on the host computer while you're streaming on the other computer and you want to stop that this feature should be off on the default of you downloading but if it isn't you want to make sure to take this check mark away there's a lot more other stuff that you guys can do with this but this is basically the basics of getting this up and running I might do a more in-depth video for getting the latency completely gone on lower connections but that will be definitely a video for another time another thing that I'll also be focusing on guys when it comes to the steam remote play I want I want to show you guys on how to do this on a phone. Yeah, you can stream this to a phone and next time I'm going to show you guys on how to do that. So definitely subscribe to the channel to get easier access to those projects when they do release. This is Mike signing off from the Help Tech Tutorial Show and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.